Atomic Heart is an upcoming first-person Soviet-esque robotic uprising survival game that takes a unique look at an alternate 1950s, showcasing a future where the Soviet Union survived to give birth to hell spawns of mechanical nature. Hey everyone, Christopher Beast here, and today I've got a first episode of Future Fridays, a series where I'll cover upcoming games that I'm going to be covering on the channel. For this first video, we have Atomic Heart which we'll be releasing on February 21st for PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, and Series X. It will also release as a Day One Game Pass title. With the basics out of the way, it's time to cover why this title interests me. So with no more delay, let's just get right into it. So, Atomic Heart seems like it will follow a man exploring the lost Soviet facilities of the game that have succumbed to a robotic uprising. To begin, this animatrix-type plot is always a fun one in my eyes. Robotic uprisings, when handled right, can be a lot of fun to play in, adding the detail of a Soviet aesthetic should give the title a rather distinct feel compared to its contemporaries in the genre, providing enemies that hopefully will be distinct enough from other robotic FPS that they give the title a unique soul. I kind of think why Bioshock was so interesting. Bioshock was so interesting because it had a very unique soul when it came out, and there really wasn't a lot other games that looked and felt like it. And Bioshock is something that I still consider one of my most favorite titles. This can already be seen from enemies that have been revealed to us thus far. These combatants certainly offer their own take on the robotic genre, and while some are just your standard humanoid robot, to say that's all that we've been seeing would be false, and we have seen alternatives. And even with these standard robots, there is some interesting things going on with them. Aside from the Soviet aesthetic, the game has more that draws my attention specifically the fact that it will be focusing solely on a single player experience. I think the beauty and greatness of multiplayer games is great and all, but sometimes I want to sit back and enjoy a well-made single player game with a good story and fun gameplay. Hopefully by disregarding any attempt at multiplayer, the devs can focus on what matters in this title, crafting an excellent environment, enemies, and story, and really creating an all-around good gaming experience. Next up, we got what little we do know about gunplay and gameplay. From all the footage I've seen, the enemies are complex in their patterns, tanky and hard hitting, hopefully creating a genuinely difficult experience that forces the player to balance between which fights to choose and which to opt out of. I like when games don't feel like I'm just gunning down everything in my path, and I'm optimistic that this experience will provide a experience that's actually entertaining, truly making the player feel as though they are hard pressed against the might of the revolting metallic robots. Overall, this title seems quite interesting to me, and I know I'm going to be playing it on release day, especially seeing how it come out free with Game Pass on day one. But until February, we can just look forward to this upcoming title. And until its release, this has been Christopher Beast. I hope to see you all then.